From Eyewitness News, this is Sports Wrap. Hi, we're the Smithfield High School Cheerleaders, and welcome to the Friday Night High School Football Wrap. Welcome to Week 10 of the Friday Night Football Wrap. Pride in playoff positioning at stake this night in Division One. Barrington holding down second place, but they'd have to hold off their border rivals, East Providence. The Townies come in at three and two in league play, a game behind the Eagles, a packed house. Under the lights at Barrington. We go right to the third quarter. EP with a seven point lead and on the move. The give to Jalen Braxton through the line. The move and off to the races finally brought down after a 50 yard gain later on the drive. It's fourth down inside the Eagles 10 yard line. The pitch goes outside to Brandon Quigley, gets to the edge, and gets the first down. On the very next play, Robert Delgado, the QB sneak over the goal line. EP takes a 28-14 lead. Barrington now looking to answer. The give to Vinny St. Angelo. He's got speed to bird down the far sideline. 15-yard gain and a first down. Eagles finding much success on the ground. They stay there. This time the fake and the keeper, Jack Ryan, finds some daylight. Again moves the chains. EPD would tighten, though. Barrington forced to throw it. Nathaniel Piva picks it off, or almost picks it off. East Providence helping its playoff cause. They hold on for the 28-21 victory. Hendrickson looking to stay perfect, visiting Cranston West, but the Falcons not playing kind host early. Brett Champagne takes the handoff and pops his way into the end zone. Home team off to a quick 7-0 lead. But the Hawks can grind it out, too. Mike Maloof. Hands it off to Ethan Ferreira. Ethan finds a seam, and he is off to the races. Finally dragged down at the one-yard line. Ethan a little shaken up on the play. His hard work would set up this, though. The TD plunge by Maloop. Hendrickson now 8-0 on the year, 6-0 in D1. Knockoff Cranston West 38-28. to Portsmouth looking to rebound from last week's loss to Hendrickson, visiting North Kingstown. The Pats brought plenty of D with them. Skipper runner breaks through, but Sean Tolleson... Comes up with the strip and the fumble recovery. A little later, Brandon Morales comes up with the tackle for a loss. Portsmouth improves to 5-2 and two in D1, 8-2 and two overall, 43-0 shutout over North Kingstown. Cranston East playing at South Kingstown. The Bolts in control, a chance to put the final nail in the coffin, but they decide to kneel it twice on the one-yard line, taking no chances. The Bolts improving to 6-4 and four on the season, 20-16 to 16, the final score. Well, we're just getting things started on this week's Friday Night Football Wrap. Hi, we're the South Kingstown High School Cheerleaders. Stick around for a Friday Night High School Football Wrap. Woo! The playoff picture is starting to clear up after tonight's action in Division Two. We've got highlights from all the big matchups, plus a primetime matchup for two Division Two teams. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Friday Night Football Wrap. Remember to check out our website, WPRI.com. You can rewatch all of tonight's highlights. Most will be up shortly. All games will be posted by tomorrow morning. Plus, you can check out past week's games as well. Again, just visit WPRI.com. Back to the action. We go to the shadows of McCoy Stadium. Tolman undefeated in league play, hosting Tollgate. Muddy conditions, offense at a premium. Second quarter, Tollgate down 12 zip, going airborne. But Mitch Halkins pass, well defended. Tigers now on offense. The playmaker, Rosalito Knapp, trying to get to the corner, but cut off by Nick Carr for a five yard loss. Next play, they try the other side. Nice stick by Anthony Wesley. But Tollgate can't find the end zone. Tolman wins again, 20 zip. The final score. 3-3 three three Shea playing host to 4-2 Johnston. Midway through the first quarter, the Raiders down 8 zip. Adelson to Silva finds wide out Devin Silva. 25-yard score. They decide to go for two to Silva. This time finds Jamal Tucker, and he ties the game at 8. Later in the first, Johnston trying to respond. Christopher Pistachio around the corner. Big 40-yard scamper. Raiders D would step it up, though. Forcing QB David Bubar to rush the throw, and Tim Monterio comes up with a nice pick, but Johnson would pull away for the big division to win 37-14, the final. Mount Hope looking to keep its playoff hopes alive, visiting Pilgrim, but the Pats' offense looking strong early. Lionel 
Breer going deep and finding John DeVito. The nice grab by DeVito Pilgrim on the move, but the Huskies' defense has been tough all year. Jared Kuna the, and Theo Muscala combined for the tackle for a loss. And watch the effort by Ad Bethello. Tips the pass back to himself and for the interception. Big road win for Mount Hope. They top Pilgrim 14-8, the final score. Now we're now going to head to the other member of our crew. Sarah Hogan has been busting it out on the uh, trails all day. Sarah, what do you have? Well, Eric, there seems to be a playoff atmosphere for sure in these last weeks of the regular season as teams are still finding their ways to get into the playoffs, and that feeling was definitely in the air tonight as Lincoln, the Lions, played host to the Middletown Islanders. Lions just one game behind the Islanders, and two of the teams tied in second place in D3 pick up the action third quarter. Islanders down 15 nothing, but not so fast as QB and Captain Dylan Gracia. Dylan looking, finds Rico McRae on the run. Rico catch and run here, 20-yard dash into the end zone, and Middletown is back within one. One TD, but the Lions fighting back third and goal. Captain Ryan Odell with the QB sneak bust into the end zone for the Lincoln score, but the Lions not done yet as they opt for the two-point conversion. This time Odell airs it out to Captain Brendan Dyer. Brendan coming into your living room for the score up close and personal, but in the fourth quarter the Lions pounce one more time in this game after an Islanders turnover. Odell and Dyer would hook up one more time. Lincoln with the big divisional win at home to move up to second place in D3, 29-16, the win over Middletown. All right, next down over, we have a Division II battle between Coventry and my alma mater, Cumberland Clippers. Both teams trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Second quarter, no score. Oakers facing a fourth down situation and decide to go for it. Running back Connor Dennis gets the ball, but the Clippers send him out of bounds short of the first down. They take over. Time ticking away in the first half, but those Clippers threatening. Third down, Trent Vassie hooks up with Matt Lafredo. That play right there, good for the Clippers' first down. That keeps them alive. But fourth down, less than six seconds to go in the half. They opt for the field goal, which is up and just makes it over. Chad Bacon with a 30-yard field goal that puts the Clippers ahead three zip. Carmeling goes on to win this one 9-0 over Coventry. Last stop on my road trip, a Division IV showdown between PCD and Smithfield. Second quarter action, Smithfield up 6-0 and looking at a score again here. Matt Luca with the handoff coming to David Perillo. Dave on his merry way here. 36-yard run to the house and the Sentinels take the 12-0 lead. But the Knights fighting their way back. Justin Montanez finds the hole coming up here and busts on through. He is gone. 55-yard run. No one catching up to him here. And he gets the Knights on board. 12-6. to But those Sentinels with one last push before the half. Matt Luca and Dave Perillo would hook up again. This time Dave with a 15-yard run that puts Smithfield back in front. Two scores. But the Knights come up with the win. 26-18 the final. Eric, back to you.